Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we beat Whitney in the gym battle. We about the four about four trainers in the Golden City gym. We got the plain badge, which I forgot to show off in the last part, so now that I remember actually I'm gonna show it off in this part of course. Uh Pokedex's time to play dump is uh, thirty four minutes four, thirty four hours and nineteen and twelve minutes I should say. Our money is uh eleven thousand one hundred and sixteen. And now we have three badges. The plain badge just says it's Basic square, really. It's a very plain badge, as they say. So, yeah. I have a... Uh, who do I have in front of me? I think I have... Uh, ways. Yeah, boys. Like, cool. Yeah. So, let's take on uh, this next route. We're going to go through this transitional building and have some fun. Awesome. Here's our first trainer. It's a picnicker. Are you going to the gym? Me too. Actually, I was at the gym last part, so... I'm not going to the gym, honestly. Because I'm finished up and I got... I finished up everything there, I should say. Oh, Vulpix, nice. Okay, so it's Vulpix versus my Growlithe. My boys, awesome. Let's go for the bio attack. Because I think Ember wouldn't do that much because it wouldn't be very effective, so yeah. It's gonna just roar, okay, interesting. Do you do that? Okay, now Noctowl's up front, okay, cool. I think this is the first time I get to see Noctowl's back sprite, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for this with the attack. Let's see how much it does. And it, won it finishes it off, awesome, nice. I'll take it. So there's that picnicker came was defeated. Awesome. Cool. I couldn't win. Oh, I couldn't win. I'm sorry. Thanks for the 300 pocket dollars. Yeah, nice. Yeah, here's some more trainers, I guess. I'm gonna show my good friend I'm hot stuff. Okay, fine. That's cool. You do that. I'm gonna try to be better than you. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, not saying I'm guaranteeing I'll be better than you, but I'm gonna try to be better than you. Uh, Sancho, nice. So it's a ground type against the fire type. I want to see how much of a bite by does just out of curiosity. It's about, ooh, it does about over half. Okay, cool. So you just the attack to lower Boise's accuracy by one stage, which kind of stinks because bite could miss, but it didn't, so that's awesome. Nice. Okay, so what else do you have? You have a Meryl. Okay. Um, I'm gonna test it, <laughs> even though Meryl's super effective against Blaze, as long as it has a Flower type move. But uh, I'm gonna keep on using Bite, I guess. But yeah, Meryl has a good defense, so yeah, it's gonna take a while. Let's use Defense Code, okay. Not the worst thing I could have done. Not the worst thing at all, so that's awesome, I'll take it. Okay, another Bite attack. It's gonna use Water Gun, okay, no. One of my earbuds fell out of my ear. My left earbud. <laughs> Let's get for another Bite. You know, I thought, you know, it's water gun attack would have done a little bit more than that, but whatever. Okay, Kemperly was defeated. Awesome. I wish I could have lost for me. Sorry, man. I'm not going to just do that. Thanks for the adventure poker dollars, though. Here's another picnicker. Uh, my boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Okay, interesting. Where you say right in front of him or to the side of him because you're standing right next to him. Here's picnicker, uh, Brooke. She has one Pokemon. It's a Pikachu. Nice. That's good for you, I guess. You got Pikachu, nice. Let's go for the Ember attack. Let's get this quick attack on us, okay. Interesting. Yeah, there we go, nice. Okay, one more Ember should do it. Oh, let's get his double team and be a jerk and make it harder to hit the Pikachu now. Of course. But Ember still hits, so that's good. I'll take it. This Pikachu is level 16 in female, by the way. And it goes down, awesome. So now Blaze is level 20. Awesome. Cool. Picnic Brook was defeated. Awesome. Okay, so oh my, you're so strong. Thanks. Thanks for 320 pocket dollars. Let's see here. Um, let's switch uh, Blaze with uh, Sanders, I guess. Yeah, Sanders is fine, yeah. Okay, I've been getting Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. Thanks, okay, that's good, uh, I, what am I thanking you, huh, <laughs> that's good to know. This is Camper, uh, Ivan, he has two Pokemon, I think, is it for that, right? Okay, one's a Diglett, nice. Cool. Let's go for the Scratch attack, I guess. Okay, I want to kill it awesome. Okay. A Zubat, nice, okay. We'll stay in. Let's go for the scratch attack, I guess. Zubat's level 10 in male. I think her D his Diggle was level 10 in male too as well. So that's good to know. 
Excuse Luke Joy Fun Sanders. It's only done one HP though. This Confederate scratched off. We finish it off. It hits and it finishes off the zebra. Awesome. So he has one more Pokemon after this, yeah. Well, a Diglett, okay, so it's gonna <laughs> just scratch on this a Diglett too. This is a Diglett at higher level though, it's level 14, so it is a higher level. It's four levels higher than the first Diglett. So that's pretty cool. Okay, there we go, nice. Puts it in the red health, awesome. It's a scratch war right now, <laughs> that's kinda cool. Okay, yeah. And then Sanders to level 20, awesome. And Camper Ivan was defeated. Awesome. I give thanks for the 200 day pocket Let's go to Bruce. Well, I think I know that there's a Jigglypuff coming up that has a, has a couple of Voltorbs and possibly Magnemites. But that's okay, I can always switch out if things get in a sticky situation. This is a Fire Breather the first. I'm practicing my Fire Breathing. Okay. Good for you. Magma, okay, cool. Okay, um, let's use uh, Water Gun. This thing is it be super effective then. Uh, Burst was gonna resist Hyper Beam though. Or not Hyper Beam, but uh, uh, um, Earth Ember. I don't know why I said Hyper Beam. I guess I'm just tired. No, fi uh, it burned it. Okay, so it's only for. It only cuts this physical attack, I'm pretty sure. Not its special attack, so that's good to know. So, right, it's burned. Yeah, I know that. Dang it, that sucks. It's just Fire Punch on us, okay? Interesting. There we go, nice, okay. okay Fire breathe the wall, we'd like to use about some magma, okay. Um we're staying with the uh, slow bro, I guess. Or not slow bro, but bro slow, I should say. <laughs> bro slow. Okay, there's another fire punch on this bro slow, it's gonna not do that much though. It does all of an HP though, so that's kind of did a little bit, I guess you could say. So this Magma is level 13 in male, so that's pretty cool. I think it's higher level than the first one, but I, could, I didn't pay attention to what the first one, what level it was. Okay, so yeah, if we can just get through this fight without, you know, Bros or fainting, that'd be awesome. But you never know, things could go bad for us. But I hope I didn't just jinx it there. Let's find another. Water gun, oh, okay, hyper fire punch is gonna leave it with like one HP. Yeah, okay, that was right, nice. Let's go for the water gun. So yeah, Rosso is down to one HP and it's burned. Oh no. That Rosso got level 20 though, that was awesome. I'm trying to win confusion, okay. Oh uh, yeah, we're trying to win for, yeah, okay, well, we'll, we'll make it one confusion. Let's give it a, let's give it a curse, honestly, we don't need curse anymore. I don't think we even just curse once. We got rid of Curse for Confusion, basically right there. Okay, uh, Fiber of the Walls defeated. Awesome. Oh, I squished the tip of my nose. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the 624 Pokedoz, though. And uh, let's switch to, um, let's switch to Sanders. Sanders is the next Pokemon I want to evolve. I think it was a level 22, but again, I'm, I'm going to press B when it was level 22 and evolve at level 23, because at level 23, it'll win Slash, which is actually faster. If Sanchez will win Slash faster by leveling up than uh, Sans Slash does, so yeah, it's awesome. Behold the great, the graceful ball, uh, dexter, dexterity or something like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's he's a juggler. We know. I, actually, I know for a fact that this guy's a juggler. This is junk, just juggler Irwin. Okay, so yeah, he's a Voltorb. It's only like level two, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's level two. Let's finish this with um. We don't even. Need, we could probably choose poison sting, honestly. There we go. Nice. That's an easy, that's easy experience right there. Okay, now Voltorb, this one's probably like level 7 if I already guess. Let's see if I'm right. Um, this one's level 10. Okay, let's go for the Mud Swap then. Just have a super effective hit, I guess. Nice, okay. Another Voltorb, okay. For another mud slap, this will to level 14. It's gonna just tackle on, on Sanders, but that's okay. Sanders takes it like a boss. Okay, I'm gonna finish off with a scratch, hopefully. I'm gonna tell Sanders to just scratch. There we go, screech, but it failed. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, he has one more Pokemon, which is a Voltorb. He has four Voltorbs. Okay, this one's probably like level 17 or level 18, if I were to guess. 
Let's see if I'm right. No, this one's level six. Okay, whatever. Let's go finish. Let's hope we can finish it with a scratch attack. That'd be pretty cool. Awesome, we do. Awesome. Nice. Okay, Joko Irwin, Irwin was defeated. Awesome. Phew, that was a lot. That was a jolt. <laughs> Thanks for the 560 Poké Dollars. It kind of was a jolt, to be honest. Danger works in the night. So these uh, police officers, you can only fight uh, at night time, and they have, usually have growlets. Usually, Officer Dirk Dirk Man from a uh, Bizarre Vark, pl played by a uh, Jake Paul. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. So this go this growlet is level 14, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for the um. Let's up on this thing. It's gonna be super effective. So that's awesome. And a load. It's a it's accuracy. So that's good. Okay, yeah, it does a little bit of half. Awesome. Accuracy fell. It's gives Ember on and Sanders. Sanders resists that because Sanders is a ground type Pokemon. So yeah. Let's go for another mud slap and it hits. Awesome. There we go. The growth goes down. Now forget to see another Pokemon. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Another growth. Okay. That's good to know. Let's go for another mud slap. Yeah, it does it puts it on the red health awesome. So it gives bite, okay. Interesting. So finish with a scratch deck. Ready to go Sanders, you're on fire right now. Awesome. So now Sanders is level 21, awesome. Officer Dirk was defeated. Um whoops. Thanks for five hundred sixty pocket always. Okay, so Let's see here, let's put Sanders at the very bottom, let's put all over front I guess you could say. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal real quick, so I'll be right back. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna actually take on the Blood Catcher here. In this grass, yeah, there he is right there, awesome. Let's take him on first, and then go around to get the item, which I think is the TM for a while. Which is pretty cool. I'll go anyway with if Pokemon, if Pokemon appear. That's pretty cool. Let's battle. Nice. Okay, yeah, this book catch your, uh, Arby, Ar Arnie, Arnie, I guess you could say. If I, if I heard his name right, yeah. Okay, so this has been on level 15 male. Let's go for the peck attack. And it wanna, oh, it doesn't wanna kill, dang it, oh man, that stinks. It's gonna be supersonic and it hits, awesome. I mean, not that, that's not awesome. It stinks, actually. Let's go for the tackle, I guess. And, uh, okay, all that gonna hit, self confusion, dang it. Okay, can just tackle on us though. Let's use another tackle, or try to at least. Nope, but oh my gosh, oh, we got snap out of confusion. Okay, what move did you disable? Venonat pack, okay, whatever. Let's go for another tackle then. Okay, confusion, no more tackle. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Oliver, go, Oliver takes it out, awesome. We defeated um, Buckcatcher Arnie. Oh, I should have lost that. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for attention for Poker Dollars. Well, I shouldn't have lost it either, honestly. So yeah, oh man, what fuck one? That was just an abra that I decided to use Swift on and gave us it gave a it gave um it gave wait it gave all of her 101 experience points. Yeah, I didn't reach your dog. I'm sorry. Something like balls or pokeballs or something. I had to think there for a second. I was like, wait. Cause I'm, I'm honestly recording this at 11.35 p.m. at night, so I'm a little tired. I just got finished watching the Cardinals game. Um, I'm recording this on, uh, April 7th, uh, 2018, which is a f Monday. And I'm at my dad's house and he has cable, so, uh, we watched the ball game. Uh, we lost 6-0 to zero against the, uh, Minnesota Twins today, today uh, way, way too earlier this evening, I should say. But whenever this is uploaded, I think this is going to be, be uploaded in like June, early June, late May. But I could be wrong. I think it's more like late May, honestly. This will be uploaded. So yeah. So that kind of stinks. We're on a five game winning streak. We beat, we beat the Cubs, uh, back to back nights with walk off, uh, in walk off fashion, I should say. Um, but, uh, I guess my I kept on telling my dad, hey, maybe the team's a little bit fatigued and tired because the game, the previous game against the Cubs, the night bef the the morning before, what well, didn't get uh, didn't get finished with until like almost one o'clock in the mornings Central Standard Time, you know, because they were it was played at Bush, you know, and St. Louis at Bush Stadium, so yeah. 
So that kind of stinks. Hopefully we win tomorrow, which is the 8th. Uh, it's a two-game series we have with the Minnesota Twins. I think the Minnesota Twins are now 14 and 17, and we're like 12, 20, and 13, I should say, for a record, win-loss records. And they said that none of the, um, none of the, only one of the teams, uh, in the American League Central division is at 500, and that's the Cleveland Indians being 17 and 17. Everyone else is below 500, apparently. So I thought that was interesting. The Cincinnati Reds in our, in the Central, in our Central division, uh, is, are 8 and like 27, 8 and 27 right now. So jeez, I I kept on telling my dad, hey, someone has to be at the bottom of the uh, standings, and someone has to be at the top, I guess. If you combine all the standings and all the wins and losses and compare different teams and whatnot, I'm just gonna stay. And I didn't even pay attention to what Pokemon came out next. Like it's a Pidgeotto, cool. So yeah, this um, if we faint this Pidgeotto that's level 14 and female, male, I should say, I think uh, all of it will grow to level 21. So that's pretty cool. Let's go with the Okay, it's gonna use a gust. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna use another swift attack. Hopefully the next swift takes this thing out. It'd be cool if it did. So yeah. Over is uh now level twenty one, awesome. Bookkeeper Brian was defeated. Okay, cool. Yikes, not so f not fast enough. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Here is the TM for rollout. Team of four will out, which I'm gonna just double check that. Yeah, team. Okay, there we go. I was right. Cool. Is there another item up here? I don't think there is, but there could be like a hand item. I guess not. Okay. So I'll meet you guys back um, on this route, but I'm gonna get through this tall grass and go heal my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna be injured my Pokemon real quick. Um, Making a friend, I guess. Yeah, cool. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, right back on this route. We're gonna go up here, and we're, I don't have cut with me, but I'm gonna go through the national park right here. Um, route 35, it says right here. But this is probably the national park coming up. So yeah, I'm gonna go through here to get through um the place I need to go to. So yeah, yeah. I think on Tuesdays and Saturdays, I believe you can do the bug catching contest here. But I have really no interest in that because I don't have to go for the sunstone this time around. I have my Pokemon Gold I had to win the Pokemon uh, bug catching contest because I needed to get this uh, sunstone to evolve my sun current into some flora. So yeah, here's a couple of trainers though, so that's pretty cool. My Pokemon are simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my darlings make me. Okay, cool. That's cool. Okay, here's a Poke fan apparently. She has one Pokemon, Poke fan Beverly would like to send out, send out Snubble, okay. That's good. Snubble's level 14 and female. So let's tell Megan to use Razor Leaf here. Hopefully one more one Razor Leaf fancy, but that'd be cool if it just fainted with one Razor Leaf. Awesome, awesome. Critical hit, nice, I'll take it. Awesome. Poke fan Beverly was defeated, awesome. Can beat you and pride, but <laughs> sorry. Thanks for one thousand one hundred for my pocket always. Yeah. Let's check out the bag. I print it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You print out using the printer. I think is what she said. I think there's another trainer right here. Yep, there it is. Awesome. This is like tall, tall grass or big tall grass. Hello. Who are you? Startled, staring at me. Oh, a battle. Yeah, it's a battle. Okay. So this is Lias. Uh, Chris, Chris, Chrissy, I guess. She sent out Oddish, okay. It's a, pure, it's a uh, grass poison type, I guess. So, uh, let's go for the tackle on this thing. Let's see how much it does. Oh, she's level 12, okay. Let's get a sweet scent, okay. So, it's gonna try to make it easier to hit Megan, apparently. My bay leaf. Okay. One more tackle if this should do it. Yeah, okay, puts in the red awesome. You gotta make it still easy to catch, uh, to hit Megan, I guess, and Bailey, but whatever. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, take this thing out, yeah. Cubone, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna tell Megan to use a razor leaf on this Cubone, honestly. I like how its animation is like throwing his bone up in the air. Okay, of course, freaking. Of course, you know, razor leaf. Faints. Bone Club, okay. That didn't do too much. I thought I was gonna do a little bit more than that, but whatever. This Cuban's level 15 and female, and it goes down when hit with the Razor Leaf. Awesome. 
Okay, last well, Chrissy was defeated. Awesome. Hmm. Thanks for the few hundred of poker dollars. Who else wants to battle me? I think you do, right? Aw oh, man, what Pokemon battle? Okay, that was a hoot hoot that um that fainted and I got <laughs> and uh, Megan got 107 experience points for defeating it. I'm sorry, I'm skipping your dialogue. I'm sorry. This is probably another Pokemon fan though. Okay, so yeah, it's a Poke fan, of course. Uh, Poke, Poke fan William was sent out Raichu. Okay, that's cool. You have a Raichu that's level 14. That's cool. Nice. Let's go for the Razor Leaf on this thing. Let's see how much this does. I'm going to at least half. Yeah, at least half. Cool. So we tail up to lower Megan's defense by one stage, but that's okay. It's gonna use a berry though. Okay, yeah. Okay, nice. Good for you. Let's get another razor leaf on this thing then. Yeah, cool. Let's just tail up again on Megan. Let's see, there's one more razor leaf on this thing. Hopefully, a razor leaf will faint it though. That'd be nice. Like that quick deck only did like 9 HP, so that's good for us. And this razor leaf hits, and it takes out the right shoe. Awesome. So now Megan's level 21. Awesome. Cool. Hook Van Woman was defeated. Awesome. My, my Pokemon. Thanks for 1,120 Poké Dollars, man. Okay. Are you a trainer too? I think you're a trainer. Okay, cool. Let's switch Megan with, uh, employees, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Okay, the world of Pokémon is deep, but there are still lots of things we don't know. But I want no more than you. Interesting. You want to say that to my face even though you just did? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so this is Schoolboy Jack. He would like the battle, of course. He has an Oddish. Okay, so Ember is going to be super effective on this thing, which is awesome. So let's go for the Ember attack. And it goes down one hit. Awesome. Okay, well, he has another Pokemon, though. It's a Voltorb. Okay, interesting. We'll use another Ember on this Voltorb. This Voltorb is level 15, so that's pretty cool. Ember's gonna hit, awesome. And how much does that do? Um, it does always half. Okay, cool. Let's just do another Ember to make it easy then. Hopefully another Ember will faint it. That'd be awesome. Nice, okay. Ember hits, okay. Nice, okay. Scuba Jack was defeated, awesome. Whoa, whoa, what? Thanks for 400 eight Poké Dollars. Now, I didn't realize how to get through the fence right here to get that item back there, as you see right there. But uh, I found the way where you can actually use, um, where you can cause the fence. It doesn't look like you can, but, um, let's see, it talks about the printer of the Pokédex. Okay, cool. But you can actually get through here, this, this. Like, you would not guess that, like, oh, it blends into, like, the other fence. How would you know that right here would be where you have to walk through? It's like, what the heck, man? So here's an item, and I also get the TM for Dig. Uh, so yeah, there's Parasio there, but on the other side is the TM for Dig. And I'm gonna have to pull up my list of my notes of uh, who gets to use the it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give it to Sanders, though. Uh, according to my notes for my notes for my final moveset. Newts, <laughs> newts. <laughs> okay, here it is, right here, just a long walk, I guess. And you get the TM for Dig, which is all the way over here. Is it over here though? I forget, honestly. This is a nice, this is a nice soundtrack though, honestly. Is there anything down here for you? Is there an item? Yeah, there's a full heal, awesome. So that's, that's actually worth coming down on here, so like, if you turn right then you can get the full heal, that's an invisible item apparently. But if you turn uh, left, you can get the TM for Dig, which is what I wanted to get usually, usually you know, from coming all the way back here. So here's the TM for Dig. Yeah, nice. Okay. So I'm going to be right back and I'll look up to see who gets uh, to win Dig as, a, as one of the final moves for the moveset. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Sanders, though, but I just want to double check. Okay, so I looked it up on my um, final movesets notes, um, and it is in fact that, uh, that, um, Sanders does get to learn Dig by TM, so that's awesome. Let's teach you Dig then. Let's uh, go to Sanders, I guess. Sanders is trying to learn Dig. Okay, cool. 
but said it was killed by the full move. So we don't want to move because of his dig, which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um, let's get a sand attack, honestly. One, two, and poof. Sandus forgot sand attack, and Sandus learned dig. Awesome. So, yeah. Um, Blaze is still level 21. Okay, well, so we'll keep Blaze up front, I guess. So now, let's just make our way out of these little fence areas, so I don't have to go all the way back, sadly. I think that's all the trainers I want to battle in the National Park, though. So I'm gonna move on to what lies uh, east of this place. Okay, cool. Let's, let's make our way east, then. Okay, so there's a couple more trainers, but first I want to get this berry, or whatever it is. A nice berry, nice. I think it heals freeze or Pokemon that frozen solids. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I'm going to read your thoughts. Interesting. Okay. Okay, psychic Mark would like to battle. Of course he would. Yeah, he has an Abra. Nice. This level thirteen. Which is bite on this thing because it's basically effective then. There we go, awesome. Okay, there's another Abra. I think he has an, two Abras and a Kadabra, if I remember correctly. This Abra is level 13 as a male, just like the last one. So let's just bite on this thing. It should want to kill it, and it does. Awesome. Nice. Kadabra, nice. Let's go for the bite attack. It's gonna use confusion, okay, interesting. Yeah, okay, it does a little bit of HP on Blaze. But this kid up is level 15 and male. It almost goes down one hit, awesome. Let's go for an Ember then, to finish it off. It's gonna get for confusion again on us, and it's gonna do a little bit chunk, it's gonna do a little chunk, I guess. Yeah, there we go, nice. Good for the kid up, I should say. The kid up goes down, awesome. Now Blaze is level 21, awesome. Pokemon for Psychic Monk was defeated. Awesome. I misread you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks for 100 day Pokemon always. Okay, so the only Pokemon at my party right now that's not level 21 is uh, Bro Slow, so we gotta change it, I guess. Here's the school kid Alan, I believe. And he's really important for getting all of an evolutionary stone, so we definitely want his number. So I'll call us whenever he has an evolutionary stone. Thanks, I'm gonna. St thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. Cool. Here is schoolboy Alan, and he has a Tangela. Okay, cool. This is a pure grass type, so it's gonna be super, it's gonna be super effective moves probably on uh, my uh, Sprosso, but I'm planning on using Headbutt anyway, so that's good for us. That's just just about then. I was just rearranging my moves there. Of course you have a Zorb, dang it, <laughs> of course. How much Headbutt, how much will Headbutt do? I mean, it's kind of not even worth it, but the Absorb's gonna restore half of what's inflicted on uh, Brosol here. Yeah, it's, it's, this battle kind of seems one-sided here. But as long as I, if, I, if I switch my Pokemon up, I can go back to Blaze and then it'll be all good. Because Blaze has Ember and it'll be super effective on Tangela. Plus, it resists Absorb because it's a grass type move. Although, Blaze only has 24 HP right now, so we gotta be careful. Okay, so Absorb only has just 2 HP. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go for the Ember then. It hits, awesome. Cool. And we defeated Schoolboy Alan, awesome. Oops, uh, c computation error, I guess you could say. Thanks for 512 Pokedollies. So I'm gonna actually get your number, honestly. Darn, I study five hours a day too. There's more to j learning j than just reading books. Reading technical books is worthwhile every so often. Uh, what I'm reading and when I'm reading and walking, I have to look down so I notice items on the ground. Next time I find something, I'll c give it to you. May I have your phone number? Yes, of course. I'll give you a call whenever he finds a firestone or whatever, or evolutionary stone. So yeah, that's awesome. I'll kill you as soon as I find something you can count on it. Thank you. That's actually really helpful. Because uh, my growth, my blaze doesn't even 
doesn't evolve into Arcanine until it gets given a Firestone. And we don't Firestone like in Crystal League, it's most common because you can actually use like Schoolboy Allen here to um, help you find help you find get um, evolutionary stones. But in like the Gold Silver and Gold and Silver, you have to wait till like Kanto to get uh, like evolutionary stones like Water Stone or Grass or Leaf Stone or Firestone. So yeah. I'm I'm the flower um, shop's Floria, Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkled water on that tr wiggly tree, it just jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. I bet it would be shocked if it um, disguised if you soaked it. I know. I'll tell you. My sister and borrow. I think I read that right. Her bottle, her water bottle. She goes back to a uh, Gold Rod City apparently. And yeah, so if you talk to this tree, um, I'll just wiggle. And dance, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way all the way back to um, Gold City and heal up, and I'm also gonna show you the flower shop where you can get that squirt bottle, whatever she's talking about, that water bottle. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, right back here, you just go to the left, uh, to the right of the gym, this building right here, and uh, I think she'll just say, um, well, 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 I have plenty of flowers, my lovely. But if you talk to your, her sister again, I guess you could say, when I told my sister about the jiggly tree, she told me it's dangerous. If I beat Whitney, I wonder if she'll uh, was lend me her water bottle. Interesting. We beat Whitney, so yeah. Oh, you're better than Whitney. Um, you you you'll be okay. Here, take this. Take here's the squirt bottle. We get the squirt bottle and we put it in the Kiam's pocket. I believe so that's awesome. Yeah, we put it in the Kiam's pocket. Cool. We want to talk to her again because she smells. So it's, I'm gonna make my way back up to the wiggly tree. But I'm actually getting the part right in front of the wiggly tree, and we're gonna take on the wiggly tree. And find out what kind of Pokemon it is uh, in the next part. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, here we are back in front of the Wiggly Tree. Um, as you can see right here, um, I tried to escape running away from my wild Pokemon battle against the Psyduck in the National Park. So, um, but um, it said I couldn't escape for a turn, and Broso lost 3 HP, but that's okay. So the next part, we're gonna try to catch this Pokemon, whatever it is. And of course, she's a Squirtle on it first. And then yeah, so we're gonna move on from there and hopefully finally get to Mahogany Town. Maybe even take on uh, some of what lies in uh, Mahogany Town and you know take take on stuff that's needed there. I guess you could say. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for watching. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next time. My Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide. <laughs>